हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग माई सेल्फ कीर्तन डी बी जुनिअर कॉलेज टीचर सदगुरु गाड़गे महाराज कॉलेज करा टुडे वी विल डिस्कस नाइन्थ टॉपिक ऑफ ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स टॉपिक नेम करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द एक्चुअल सिलेबस ऑफ दिस टॉपिक वी फर्स्ट रिवाइज सम टर्म्स और कंसेप्ट as already we have studied in 11th standard which are related with this topic current electricity in 11th standard we have studied the origin of electrical conductivity of material and how to calculate effective resistance if number of resistances are connected in different combinations such as series and parallel in this lecture we will study the terms which are already studied in 11th standard the term current or electric current to be explained by considering the electrical conductivity of material we know that there are three types of electric conductors one good conductor all metals are good conductor second bad conductor sometimes it is called as insulator and third called as semiconductor to explain the term electric current we have to consider any conductor like this this is conductor ab having number of free electrons electrical conductivity of any material depends on presence of number of free electrons within that material or conductor in this conductor there are large number of free electrons having charge e electrons are negatively charged particles in absence of any external potential across the conductor movement of electron in all possible directions that is electrons within that conductor move randomly in all possible directions in absence of any external potential across the conductor in order to flow the electrons in any given direction we have to apply some potential difference across the ends of conductor by means of battery this is symbol for battery having two plates positive plate negative plate we know that electric current defined like this the rate of flow of charge per second it's called as electric current electric current can be given like this i is equal to simply q divided by t or dq divided by dt in order to flow the charge through the conductor we have to apply potential difference by means of battery across the conductor such that positive terminal of battery is connected to na of conductor whereas 
negative terminal of battery is connected to end B of conductor. Due to that, electrons having a negative charge, the end A is at positive potential, whereas end B is at negative potential. That is, end A of conductor is at higher potential, whereas end B of conductor is at lower potential. Electrons having negative charge move towards end A. That means, electrons having negative charge particles travel from lower potential end to higher potential end like this. Because end A is at higher potential, end B is at lower potential, there exists a potential difference across the ends of the conductor. Due to that, free electrons having negative charge move from lower potential end B to higher potential end A. In order to move the positive charge, from end A to end B, this cell supplies some energy to that charge due to which positive charge moves from higher potential in A to lower potential in B due to that movement of charges in a given direction. That rate of flow of charge is nothing but electric current I is equal to Q divided by T or dQ divided by dt. That means in order to maintain electric current through any conductor, we have to apply potential difference across the ends of conductor by means of battery having potential V or EMF E. E be the EMF of cell or battery with which the battery supplies energy to that charge with which charge circulated once from the complete circuit. That energy of cell called as EMF given by the relation E equal to W divided by Q where E be the EMF of that cell or battery W be the amount of energy supplied or work done by the cell to circulate charge Q once from the complete circuit. This is formula for current I is equal to dQ divided by dt. Charge is measured in terms of coulomb, time in terms of second. Then the SI unit of current coulomb per second is called as ampere. Also, EMF of cell is equal to W divided by Q. Work done is measured in terms of Joule, charge in terms of Coulomb. Joule per Coulomb with the SI bit of EMF of cell or battery. Then, while moving electrons from lower potential end B to higher potential in A. These electrons collide with vibrating atoms within that conductor. Due to that collision, vibrating atoms opposes the motion of free electrons. That opposition offered by the atoms to the flow of electrons is called a resistance of that conductor and it will by symbol R. Here I be the current flowing through the circuit, R be the resistance of the conductor and V be the potential difference applied across the ends of the conductor. By considering all these things, scientist Oham stated one relation between electric current 
flowing through the circuit I and potential difference applied across the end of conductor. According to scientist Oham, if the physical state of conductor remains the same, means physical state in the sense material of conductor material of conductor second dimension of conductor third temperature of conductor if the physical state of conductor remains the same that means material of conductor dimension of conductor temperature of conductor remains the same the electric current i flowing through the conductor or circuit is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across the ends of the conductor according to ohm's law we can write the equation like this i proportional to v or V proportional to I. Replace this proportional sign by equal sign by taking some constant like this. V is equal to constant into I. That constant replaced by another symbol R for V is equal to Ri or V is equal to IR where R with the resistance of the conductor given by the formula R equal to V divided by I. R with the resistance of the conductor measured in terms of Ohm. Here is R with the resistance of the conductor. I with the electric current flowing through the conductor and V with the potential difference applied across the ends of the conductor. This Ohm's law is useful to determine the amount of current flowing through the circuit. That is, I is equal to V divided by R. Means, this Ohm's law is useful to determine the amount of current flowing through the circuit, I is equal to V divided by R. Also, that Ohm's law is useful to measure the resistance of conductor R by the formula R is equal to V divided by I. Accidentally, it is observed that a resistance of conductor is directly proportional to the resistance of conductor is directly proportional to the length of conductor as well as area of cross section of conductor that means i depends on length as well as area of cross section of conductor a first resistance of conductor is directly proportional to its length that means as length increases length of conductor increases number of collisions of electrons with atoms also increases. As number of collisions increases, resistance of conductor also increases. That means, resistance of conductor is directly proportional to length of conductor. In second, resistance of conductor is inversely proportional to its area of cross section. That means, if area of cross section is made broader then resistance of conductor becomes lower that means resistance of conductor is inversely proportional to area of cross section of conductor by combining these two results we write some equation like this r proportional to l divided by a replace this r uh, replace this proportional sign by equal sign by taking some constant 
that is r is equal to constant into l divided by a or r is equal to replace this constant by another symbol rho into l divided by a the constant rho is called as specific resistance of material of conductor or resistivity of material of conductor and that resistivity to be calculated with the help of formula rho is equal to r a divided by l this is required formula for determination of specific resistance or resistivity of material of conductor resistivity or specific resistance of material of conductor can be defined resistance of conductor of unit lines and unit area cross section unit area cross section like this length 1 meter area of cross section a equal to 1 meter square then substitute these two values in this relation we get the formula like this rho is equal to r from this we define what is meant by specific resistance or resistivity of metal of conductor resistance of conductor having unit lengths and unit area of cross section that resistance of conductor is called as its specific resistance or resistivity of conductor it is measured in terms of unit ohm into centimeter ohm into centimeter also in 11th standard we have studied how to calculate effective resistance if two or more resistances are connected in series as well as parallel combination suppose that two resistances are connected in series like this r1 will be the first resistance r2 will be the second resistance then they are said to be connected in series when connect two resistances one after another like a chain such combination of resistances is called as series combination and connect a battery across such combination like this having potential v i with the current flowing through the circuit such combination of resistances is called as series combination combined resistance of this combination is supposed to be rs rs with the combined or effective or total resistance of combination and that resistance rs is given by the relation rs equal to r1 plus r2 from this relation we can state one law laws of resistances connected in series such that equivalent resistance or total or effective resistance of series combination that is rs is equal to sum of individual resistances sum of individual resistances this is about series combination also we have studied parallel combination of resistances when two or more than two resistances are connected in parallel combination like this this is first resistor having resistance r1 this is second resistor having resistance r2 connected will be two common points then they are said to be connected in parallel this is first resistor having resistance r1 second resistor having resistance r2 connected between two common points point a and b then they are said to be connected in 
parallel combination across the combination correct that is high potential V so that current I flows through the circuit such combination of resistances is called as parallel combination then how to calculate the effective resistance of such combination RP RP is the equivalent or effective resistance of parallel combination is given by the equation 1 upon Rp equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. From this we can state the law of resistances in parallel combination. The reciprocal of equivalent resistance is equal to sum of reciprocals of individual resistances. By simplifying the formula, we can write the equation like this. Rp is equal to R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Up to this stage, we have studied in 11 standards. This is an introductory part for this chapter in per standard. After this, we can study the first point in the chapter current electricity. That point will be discussed in the next lecture. Thank you.